What's going on, everybody? Welcome into today's podcast. I hope you guys are doing fantastic. For those of you who are new to our channel, my name is Mike. My name is John. And we are Crypto Logic, the number one podcast that keeps you informed on what, how, and most importantly, why to invest in a cryptocurrency. Now, today we're going to be bringing you guys uh, some news based out of South Korea. You know, on our channel, we talked about uh, El Salvador, we talked about China, we talked about a whole bunch of other different countries, and now we're leaning towards South Korea because we believe that they're doing something pretty amazing. So um, let's actually just dive into the article so you guys can understand what we're talking about, and then we can kind of uh, explain it a little further, okay? So the article states, Another large bank in South Korea to provide custody of crypto assets. Now, Worry Financial Group, I'm probably butchering that name, so, you know, forgive me. Um, but Worry Financial Group is joining forces with Bitcoin exchange CoinPlug to offer the services. So, John, what does that actually mean? Like, what what is Worry Financial Group joining forces with the CoinPlug have to do with anything? Like, why, why does that even matter? Um... It's basically them just trying to stay alive when when crypto is fully adopted because at some point in time when crypto is fully adopted um the average person that's in crypto doesn't really need a bank anymore if their money if they if they want to go full digital currency right there's no need for them to you know worry about going atm none of that, none of that. they just want their money to be into crypto assets right. whether it's a stable coin whether it's um investing purposes and, and stuff like that so these this bank is following the, the tales of two other banks in south korea they're partnering with coinplug which is an exchange um that's going to allow them to invest directly into cryptocurrencies on that exchange called coinplug so now that coinplug exchange and this bank is hand in hand working together so um it's called um custodying your crypto custodying your assets so now these large firms that uses bank so a firm would be something like a venture capital group or an investment firm so a bunch of rich people all coming together and then having a firm that says hey we're putting in like you know 15 million dollars into this firm this firm is worth 15 million dollars we want to invest into gold silver whatever and right. usually firms will work with the bank and the bank will take their money and put it where they want it to go so these people don't have to do it themselves the banks will do it for them so now they're Got just it. adding crypto to the list since they're partnering with the exchange so since they're partnering with the exchange the exchange is going to automatically have the bank connected to them and they know that oh you guys are our partner so tell us what you want and the firm's gonna say hey we like bitcoin we like ethereum we like uh, xrp we like uh zillica and the bank is automatically gonna take that money from them and move it to that exchange for them and now they pull their money from the exchange it's gonna go directly to their bank it's like it's just it makes it very simpler and very easy for them to move their money back and forth between the crypto exchange and their bank now because they're partnered so in your, in your honest opinion do you think like this could be like a bl blueprint for like other banks to like Definitely. use you know what i'm saying because yeah that's as it, it seems like crypto is going to full digital right i mean everybody is talking about it now so more so than before about you know being fully digital and we're starting to see that a lot more especially with you know i keep bringing up the uh the restaurants but it's it's actually a really big deal because the restaurants have the qr codes right and you could just scan it and it could just you just get the menu it's no more paper menus so i think this is definitely could be a, a blueprint for for, for future banks it's similar to a company back in the early 90s late 90s late 90s not wanting to go online and selling things online from their store and they're like right. no we don't want anyone to why would we not want people to come in our store right or like blockbuster not wanting to partner with netflix when netflix said hey we want to partner with you and them saying no we know what we're doing and then them not taking their service digital online streaming mm. they died out netflix took over because they made it easier for people to access content movies shows so, so you're saying if banks don't adopt this type yeah of, they're uh, they're gonna get wiped out technology, no one's gonna, gonna want to go into the bank no one there's no need to go into the bank especially if the the, the fed the government creates a digital dollar right from the central bank you don't need that bank anymore because the, the fed can just give you you can make a wallet and you can say hey i want my money transferred here digital money transferred mm. here to my this wallet like you basically go on the account and you set up an account just like ssi payments will go there health insurance your mm. 401k your pay your even payment from your where you work 
you can say wow. hey i want my direct deposit of my digital money into this wallet that i have which could be an exchange it could be trust wallet we don't know yet that's so in the future but right, right, the right. banks that are smart they will create that and partner with an exchange and then they they'll say oh yeah we'll take we'll take your digital money we'll take your digital money and then you don't need cash anymore you pretty much would barely need need an atm i mean i think yeah you probably need atm but if everything's I mean, digital, uh, digital, you pay, you yeah. pay like Apple Pay. Just think of it, paying everything with, you know, you just. I don't even know you would need an ATM anymore because because yeah. it would it would honestly make uh, like uh, companies like um, what is that? Western Union kind of obsolete. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Cause... The Western Western <laughs> Union and MoneyGram, like MoneyGram and Western Union, are the same thing, right? Technically, MoneyGram partnered with Ripple. So now MoneyGram is gonna be like, oh yeah, we have a way to send you money really fast all over the world. Like that's MoneyGram is smart. Right. these companies they if they don't if they don't if they're stubborn and they're like no we don't need to do this we don't need this just like how on the internet when the internet came up we don't need to go online they're gonna go out of business banks need to do this to custody your crypto like if you have cash in your bank and you want crypto the bank needs to be able to help you get the crypto if they don't then you're gonna do it yourself and you don't need them anymore right because you're gonna you're gonna move your money out of their bank and into crypto they at least will still have your money with within the bank if they partner with an exchange the money is still connected to the bank somehow i feel like this technology and this partnership and how they're doing it i feel like the the, the smaller mom and pop banks even if they do like, like little credit this, unions and stuff like that i still feel like they're gonna lose in the end because you got the big banks you got you know well, jp Morgan is making JP their Morgan, own they're doing their own thing wells fargo yeah. bank of america uh schools first navy federal like you have a lot of different banks to where you could be like all right i'm gonna go here comerica but then the small mom and pop ones, like farmers or something, well, it's probably not small, but you know what I mean. It's not everywhere. Can't think of a name as you know? something in the Midwest or something. But um, I just don't see them making it, you know, because if all the other big exchanges are doing it, why why go to a smaller one? What is yeah. the incentive to go to a smaller one? One, one cool thing is in the bottom article, it says that... Um, a worry this last yeah one here. so okay. this bank that we're talking about is following the other two banks that are already doing it mm -hmm. and this is ongoing this is happening while south korean lawmakers draft crypto legislation and the count country's financial services commission their fsc we have one too implements anti-money laundering safeguards so they're basically regulating it already as this is going on they're regulating their their main focus is making sure that you can't money launder with crypto so that's good because right. South Korea is doing it. America is. I have to I feel it. like America is doing it, but really behind the scenes. Yeah, yeah, yeah of course, of course, of course, yeah. And there's FUD all over the place, but China's doing it. Russia's already doing it. They're testing twelve banks this whole year. Next year, they're gonna test twelve banks, and they're using Ethereum and um and and XR and Ripple. They're gonna see which one they like, but. The U.S. and predominantly, I feel like most of our viewers and everybody, we're based in the U.S. I right. feel like the U.S. will get on board because the U.S. Is, can't get left behind. They're not gonna. They're not gonna get left behind, dude. I mean, the U.S. When has whenever has the U.S. ever played second fiddle to anyone? Yeah. Never. Like, even even if somebody came out with something first, America's still gonna claim it <laughs> and be like, yeah. "What are you gonna do about it?" You know what I'm saying? and uh you know this this technology and this and and banks partnering with with um exchanges i think is actually brilliant you know what i'm saying because yeah. you know there there is going to be a core amount of you know once regulation happens there's going to be a core amount of exchanges that are going to stay there and you know who knows who who knows what's going to actually happen within those different exchanges you know it's going to be it's going to be very interesting to see in the next couple of years how this all kind of plays out but, you know, we honestly want to know what you guys think. What do you guys think about this as far as um, is it good for the overall crypto space as far as, uh, you know, full adoption goes? Or do you think it actually hurts us because, you know, that if this is actually true, then that means crypto adoption and uh, not crypto adoption. I'm sorry. Um, crypto regulation um, is going to be coming um, far worse than we thought. So you guys let us know uh, down in the comment section down below and uh we'll see you guys in the next one all right take care god bless be safe peace